Okay, in this week's recap, Wall Street finishes August with a rally. China decides to pause a potential response to oncoming U.S. tariffs, and two consumer confidence indices send different messages. Life is too short to worry about what the next headline could do to your life savings. Hi, my name is Eric Hagan, and I keep my thumb on the pulse of the economy and the markets so my clients can focus on the things that are actually important to them. Thank you for joining me the next few minutes on today's weekly economic video update. Fears of an impasse in the U.S.-China trade dispute lessened last week. While additional U.S. tariffs on Chinese imports were scheduled to take effect on September 1st, China's government communicated that it would refrain from taking retaliatory measures for the moment. U.S. stock benchmarks advanced during the week. The S&P 500 rose 2.79% across five trading days, and the NASDAQ Composite and Dow Jones Industrials Average respectively gained 2.72% and 3.02%. The MSCI EFI Index of international stocks added just 0.25%. Thursday, a spokesman for China's Commerce Ministry said that negotiations could resume this month and that discussions need to focus on removing the new tariffs to prevent escalation. In addition, officials in Beijing indicated they would hold off on responding to the U.S. tariff hikes announced Friday by the White House. The conference board's monthly consumer confidence index was at 135.1 in August. Analysts polled by Reuters had projected a reading of 129.5. Consumers' view of the present economic situation was the best since November of the year 2000. On the other hand, the University of Michigan's monthly consumer sentiment index, based on a different collection of survey data, dropped 8.6 points during August to 89.8. That was its biggest monthly descent in nearly seven years. All right, looking ahead at what is next, after a pause for the Labor Day holiday, U.S. financial markets have an abbreviated trading week. The August jobs report may influence Friday's Wall Street session, and any news pertaining to U.S.-China trade talks could also influence the markets. Hey, this is Eric again. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. To learn how I give my clients life savings the attention it deserves, visit me online at www.erichagan.pro. If you'd like to get financially organized, go check out nocostfinancialdashboard.com. And lastly, if you'd like to take control of your 401k at work, visit us over at 401kinvestmentpros.com. Thank you again for your time today. I'll look for you next week.